God bless you and thank you for joining me. I am so grateful that you are here today. I'm gonna to get you caught up on a couple of things, give you a little bit of an explanation, talk about what's coming up, and then also share with you that today is my third year anniversary from my first video that I launched on Rumble. I've been on YouTube since the beginning of the year, but I have three years worth of videos on Rumble. So perhaps you are a person who is new in the Lord, maybe you're new to reading your scriptures, etc. I don't know how long you've been here and this might be the first video that you've ever heard. But I'm grateful that you're here and I want to encourage all of you to stick in the word, just abide in it and open it up and read it because I know that since I have started producing these videos and putting these out there, I feel like I just have better knowledge of scripture. I feel like I have more memory of scripture. I feel like it has been greatly advantageous to my life and I want it to be advantageous to your life as well. I want you to be in the word every single day. So here's kind of what's been going on with me just to give you an explanation. I promised we were gonna talk about those fake faith healers and those are coming, I promise you. Um, Part of the issue is that, you know, I've been working on getting this house up for sale that isn't mine and assisting, and it is a monumental amount of work if you've ever had to clear out somebody's house, rip up carpet, paint, donate, garage sale, move someone, and then get their house prepared to go on the market in addition to cleaning it and landscaping, then you know that that is a monumental amount of work. And this was something that should have been in the works years ago, but sometimes people just are not willing to kind of go where they need to go for safety reasons. And so then when it all comes to a culmination, to a head, you have to move quickly. And so I've been just swamped with all of that. I was also out of town on a family adventure in the East Coast, on the East Coast, I should say. And I've got a couple of videos that I'm gonna make from that as well, From a couple of things that I wanted to share. But I appreciate your all being here and if you've been with me since the beginning, I thank you. You have my utmost gratitude for sticking with me. And I always appreciate your comments and I always appreciate any emails, message WPS at gmail.com. So I promise you we're gonna talk about those fake faith healers and I've got a couple other things that I've been saying we're gonna update on. Um, there were no comments on the synagogue healing and that's okay. Ruminate that, let that roll around in your head. If there are comments, we'll revisit it, but it's okay. Um, so we've got some things that will be coming up, but what I want to share today, because it is the three year anniversary of Rumble, you know, I really want to encourage you to stick in God's word and to abide in it. You know, in the book of Hebrews, so the Apostle Paul is sort of attributed with Hebrews, but there are some scholars that say he didn't write it because the sty style is slightly different, etc. But in the book of Hebrews, in chapter 4, it starts talking about God's wisdom in verse 12. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And before him, no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one whom we must render an account. So I really want to encourage you. I don't know where you're at. Maybe you have never opened the Bible before, but I really want to encourage you to get in God's word. I know for me, I feel like I have more knowledge. I feel I have more scripture memorized just by doing this every single day, despite physical exhaustion from other things. Although it does help me talk slower, I must say, which is a benefit. So stay in God's word, read it, abide in it, consume it daily like you consume your coffee, your vitamins, your food, your salad, whatever it is, abide in God's word. It is living, it is active, sharper than any two-edged sword piercing until it divides the soul from spirit, joints from mirror, and is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And if you're reading it, then the thoughts and intentions in your heart are going to be more aligned with God. Am I right? Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.